Welcome Capricorn to your love reading for October 25th and 26th of 2018. So uh, we did have a full moon in Taurus and that does activate your fifth house, right? Uh, fifth house of uh, playfulness, love relationships, creativity, um, children as well. So there may have been some big changes, um, things that you might really need to address when it comes to children or someone that might kind of block progress um, in your love relationships. So uh, let's see, messages for... Capricorn. Person or energy coming towards you. So, I'm um, not sure who had this, but uh, this is energy of being a bit more enthusiastic, playful. Um, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but that person might want to, you know, bring you out on a date. Come with them to do something interesting, something creative. Um, there may even be pregnancy uh, with someone, but that's the energy of either being free to do their own thing or being uh, playful with you. Um, what might your football play by the page of wands? Let's see. Yeah, they may uh, be working um, as well. So they might be trying to focus on career right now, just kind of balancing uh, work with being playful, more interactive, you know, those kind of things are going on. So what might your response be for Capricorn? What might your response be? So you're working, all right? You're focusing on the future. Um, it's like being very headstrong into a certain motive and a plan that you might have. And uh, next two days. And a lot of times when you, it seems like you might be walking away from somebody or just uh, stressed out right now, especially if you feel like your person that you're dealing with is uh, doing something else and maybe not really around you, giving you the emotional support that you actually want for some. And you might be saying, hey, I, I really don't have time for this right now. You know what? I'm tired of it. So I'm just focused on work. So it seems like that's what you might be doing for some. So and also coming off as saying certain things like i constantly do this or i constantly put in a lot of work and effort and you're not doing anything so that might be something that comes out of well not even out of your mouth um it could but from your mind and typing it um social media or through to your partner so there does be seems to be um some kind of um mental uh, confrontation or verbal confrontation between you and your love interests and, uh, two people showing up capricorn virgo or taurus and you have the fire sign so what is your partner's response or love interest for capricorn so that person is well um that person seems to be either they're wanting their space right now because they're still going through a healing process well, some of you are needing to be friends with them or you don't have to be, but that might be something that's going on a uh, friend first or if not romantic, it's like we have to just be friends or keep things how they are for some. Care about death for the person uh, response. Care about death. Yeah, for some, it's, that's what it seems like you might be. For many of you right now, it's, you know, we have cycles that change and it doesn't always stay permanent. These are things that you have the opportunity to shut the door and keep it shut and don't open it back up. But for sometimes these things, you know, happen from week to week, day to day. But it seems like to me, for some, you might be moving on from someone who is now becoming a friend rather than a romantic partner right now because they either need their space or you two have tried to work things out and it didn't work out. So that might be something, the conflict that might be coming from you for some. Um, what is the advice for Capricorn? Next two days. You yeah, see you, um, it seems like you're turning down this uh, process or this change of sometimes when you are faced with a, um, a desire to or opportunity to release someone or an opportunity to wait <laughs> for something new to come into your life, you might not be very um, happy with what's going on or that process. So you could be frustrated, right? And it tells you to appreciate the people that might be around you or the opportunities that might be coming towards you, which you want specifically might not be ready for you at this time. Um, and what is the outcome for Capricorn next two days? So we have two of wands, so you're planning. So you're more in a strategic kind of mindset right now. Um, even though you might be frustrated, I feel we have the two of wands, Capricorn. Um, yeah, and it brings out a lot of fear, though, um, of starting over. I mentioned this for somebody else. Starting over, starting fresh. Uh, 
was it with Gemini? Or might have, I'm not sure who it was with, but um, it's like an energy of starting over for, for a lot of you. You might have a lot of anxiety about um, traveling, relocating, leaving someone behind and seeing what happens. You want to know what's going to happen. The calculated, you know, the, the temp house of trying to, you know, figure things out and not really taking risks, but calculated ones would be fine. But um, a lot of you might be having some doubts about someone. So. Let's do one Romance Angels card for Capricorn. Next two days for Capricorn. So we have You Deserve Love. You are lovable. So when that is coming out, it seems like there might be a distress that's coming through with the Five of Swords being there because you're not getting something or something with someone that you really, really want. Um, then we have Stay Optimistic About Your Love Life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Um, try try as best you can to have that um, energy and vibe come from you um you can see or capricorn from the fairies and love next week for fairies and, love. and we have your desire is within reach and it says have faith as everything is working in your favor and uh a lot of times this is the um these cards are telling you to try to focus on things that are going to uplift you right now and uh, let go of what you need to let go of and uh don't give in to the, you know, the woe is me kind of thing because it's going to just impede progress and just have you down and um, just work through it. All right. So a lot of love to you. Lots of light, tons of healing vibes. Um, you can always go to the website, psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you. Have a good one.